Hey everybody, it's Jason Creo and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to show you what's going on with my lawn because I think it's going to be intriguing to a lot of you. I have been growing in approximately two acres in my backyard and it's making some serious progress and today I'm going to elevate the progress a little more and kick it into high gear. Today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. You see my Graham Spray Rig behind me. When I am running my weed control and fertilization business, I use a Graham Spray Equipment. So if you're interested in a spray tank like the one on the back of my truck, go to GrahamSE.com. The link is in the description. So let me show you the yard and I'm going to talk to you what's going to happen today and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do today. And then we're going to keep checking on it. I want to show you the progress. Some of you have been following the channel for years have seen the progress from the time when this was all just overgrown woods and just so thick you could barely walk through it, which was about two years ago. And then we had it cleared and then I plugged it with sod and you know, it's just been a journey. But let's show you what it looks like today and I'm gonna show you how to make it look even better. Sometimes people say, hey Jason, what do I do if I got a bare spot in my lawn? Or what do I do if, you know, I'm trying to get my grass to, to fill in a, a bare spot? Or you got a large area like this and you think, what do you do? You know, I, I couldn't afford to sod all this or certainly wouldn't want to pay it if I could afford it. So um, what I did back here was I got two pallets of sod last year and I just, after the trees finally got gone, um, this, was, this was so thick, literally you couldn't hardly walk through it. We cleared it off, graded it, uh, leveled it out, and then we just threw two pallets of sod out here. And it did it in the middle of the summer last year, barely survived because it was so hot. I had a hard time keeping it watered. And, but now you see uh, what, what has happened. Now the reason it looks a little bit better on this side is there was a few sprigs from the year before that survived uh, and it had more time to spread. This over here was still had large piles of limbs on it and I couldn't uh, get the grass out there until last year. Well, it just barely survived, started to spread a little bit and then winter came, so it stopped. So now the time I'm filming this is early June and I'm at a huge advantage because last year I think I didn't put it out to July or August. It was so hot. Now it, it's rooted and look at what's going on. And this is happening all over the yard. It's running, it's spreading, and it, it's just, you know, making lots of progress. See what's going on here. It's just continuing to, to spread. And this is going on throughout this property. So you, you look at it and you say, Jason, this looks horrible. Well, it looks horrible if you hadn't seen what it used to look like. Doesn't look horrible to me because I know what it did look like and uh, I, I feel pretty good about it. And I, I kind of like my chances of getting most of it covered in grass even uh, this year. Like I said, I'm June, early June right now. So I got a few months, but what's the good thing is I've got prime months, the best months for growing Bermuda grass. My Bermuda's already uh, green, it's already running. And today I'm kicking it in high gear by doing a couple of things that I'm gonna talk about right now. Now when you fertilize it, it's gonna get a quick boost that first week or two because you got the quick release fertilizer jumping out there and then the slow release starts releasing. And so you're really gonna get a lot of nitrogen. So anyway, I talked to him, I said, hey, what rate should I put this fertilizer out at to get maximum growth to get this to grow in? You know what I'm saying? Because I want this grass to really, really grow. Not so it's like super green and press my neighbors. I'm trying to fill in gigantic bare spots all over the lawn. And he told me that I could go with three pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Now, I've already put some fertilizer on this grass. It, it's making some progress, but today I'm gonna put more on it and we're gonna see, it, you know, and a lot of it's gonna depend on the weather, you know, how, how much rain we're gonna get. So anyway, I'm gonna fertilize this grass, but I wanna talk to you about what else I'm gonna do um, also that's gonna help the progress of this grass, hopefully. This is something I've talked about on the channel before, um, but I'm gonna give it another try in this situation to see how well it works. All right, so this is the other thing I'm doing, and you see this is podium, and it says plant growth regulator for turf growth management. All right, so what does this stuff do? Well, I've used this on my lawn before, and basically what it does is suppress the growth of the grass, keeping it from growing vertically, but it supposedly helps it to grow more laterally. 
Okay, so it, it basically takes the energy the grass would use to grow vertically and, and makes it grow deeper roots. It's supposed to reduce the, the amount of water that it needs. Also, and this is what we're gonna be testing out today, is help it to fill in, you know, because like I said, it's using more energy to grow deeper roots and also to grow laterally, which makes sense that that would help fill in some bare spots. So if you're looking at the yard I'm looking at right now, I see a couple of bare spots. I might even see three or four if I looked hard enough. So I'm gonna put the fertilizer on here, a heavy dose of slow release fertilizer. And the good thing about the slow release is I don't have to keep fertilizing over and over and over and over again. You know, I don't have to come back once a month and put more out and put more out and put more. I put this out one time and I should be good. The growth regulator, the podium for Bermuda grass, do 16 ounces per acre. And uh, in this situation, it's supposed to reduce the need for mowing by like 50%. You do it about once a month. So this is what I'm doing today on this yard. I'm gonna ride over it with this, the uh, spreader sprayer. I'm gonna make two pounds. I'm not gonna try to fertilize and spray at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm not, if I'm coordinated enough to do that right now, but I'm gonna, um, spray it and then come back and fertilize it after that. So let's get started with that right now. All right, I got the podium sprayed. It will be interesting to see if I can tell a difference on how it's helping it fill in. I have no doubt it's gonna suppress the vertical growth, which will reduce the amount of mowing. But let me say this, when I am trying to fill in a, a yard like this, I mow it regularly, okay? So, I mean, this is gonna cut that down. But before I sprayed the podium, I was still mowing it once a week and, and trying to encourage the grass. I mow the, this Bermuda grass, I'm mowing it like an inch and a half. So I'm mowing it regularly, keeping it low, trying to encourage the grass to stay low and spread and not grow vertical. So I think the podium is going to help me with that cause as well as uh, using a lawnmower. So now I'm going to fill up uh, the spreader with fertilizer and, and put the heavy duty slow release fertilizer on here, high nitrogen and see if we can maximize growth. Now, water in this big area is a challenge, but we've got rain in the forecast the next three days, so I'm encouraged. I think the timing is almost ideal. And if you try to do this before the grass is ready to grow, like if I had been doing this in February, I mean, obviously you're not gonna get the results because the Bermuda's barely waking up from dormancy. So uh, being early June, I think it's almost ideal timing for this application to be done.
right, I got the podium sprayed. I got the fertilizer down. It's supposed to rain today, tomorrow, maybe the next day. I think we got rain to forecast. If you want to follow along, subscribe to the channel. This has been a progress for about two years. Now, it wouldn't have taken that long if I didn't have to clear the land and wait forever to get my sod down and things like that. But we are on the home stretch, and I think this is going to look a whole lot better in about four months from now. I wouldn't be surprised if we had it almost all the way covered. So we'll see what happens. I'm no predictor of the future. So appreciate you watching. I'm Jason Creel. There's resources available for you in the lawn care business over at lawncarelife.com. There's over 600 videos on the channel. I encourage you to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Talk to you guys later. Bye.